Just uh, I, I, you guys looked a lot like Indianapolis today. I think that you ended the first half with five consecutive third down stops. It's a different world for you guys in that situation, isn't it? Oh, most definitely, man. Once you can get once you can get off the field off third down, man, it changed the whole game. Uh, I know last time we played them, we was like uh, they was ten for fourteen against us, and you know you can't really win a game if you're not getting off the field on third down. Um, we won last game, but you know, we put more emphasis on getting off the field on third down, and uh, it was a big, it was a big change. Luke, Malcolm, as you guys are, are currently in, in first place of the division and are looking to finish this season out strong in these last three games, what's the attitude in the locker room like surrounding that, and what needs to happen in order to end the season where you want to be? <clears throat> well. Uh, you know, coach just piggyback on, you know, that second half we had against Cleveland. Um, that's the team we are, you know, a team that fights, go out there and play hard as we can and, you know, try to make uh, limited mistakes. So uh, that team that you got from the second half against Cleveland, you know, that's what we hope to present throughout the rest of the season. You've gotten off to a – sorry, Arden. you gotten off to a fast start this season. You're already at nine wins with three games left. Do you feel almost like, though, if you can't finish it off, the false start – or, excuse me, the fast start would end up being sort of meaningless? Um, You know, it's all about starting fast and finishing strong. You know, that's the model around here. And, you know, that's that's that's, that's what we got to do. You know what I mean? Ten games is not enough. Nine games is not enough in this league, especially it's so competitive. So, you just got to keep grinding and just keep working hard and believing in, believing in the team. John Glennon. Hey, Malcolm, uh, looked like you were marked up uh, primarily with, with Chark today. Uh, how much do you enjoy the challenge of, of you know, moving and, and traveling with the receiver? And uh, how did you feel like you fared? It looked like your numbers uh, were excellent uh, today. You know, that's what I do. You know, I like, the, I like the challenge. I like to take on the best of the best. But whatever coach tells me to do, that's what I'm going to do. But uh, I owe Chark. You owe him from, from what? From the past. <laughs> Great player, though. Good young player. But, you know, whatever coach tells me to do, that's what I'm going to do. Thanks. Corey? Yeah, I was going to ask you, Malcolm, it looked like for whatever reason, Glennon looked like he wanted to come your way, and you looked more than ready for it. Uh, most definitely. You know, I kind of had some ups and downs against the Jaguars. I made it my business uh, to come out here and compete and, you know, play the best I can, especially after, you know, the Cleveland game when we uh, displayed a, uh, a bad performance. So, you know, I, I locked in a lot this week, wrote down a lot of notes, uh, kept reminding myself what I need to go out here and do, what the team need to do, and be a leader and lead by action. So uh, it worked out this week. And I think your offense has put up over 30 points in like four consecutive games now. Yeah, I mean, do you guys feel like if you can play with some consistency on defense, you can absolutely get where this team wants to go? Oh, most definitely. You said the key word. We just got to stay consistent and we got to find out who our identity is, how, who we are. We got to find out who we are. You know, you're going to have ups and downs, but for the most part, we got to find out who we are and stay on, stay rising instead of, you know, going up and down like a stock market. So we just got to set the tone on that, and uh, we should be good to go. But, you know, you can't pre predict the future. Emily? Hey, Malcolm, you had a second chance at the interception and, and hauled that one in. Um, what, what was your thought when you saw the ball in the air, knowing that uh, you had to get that one? <laughs> um, I just know I had to get it. You know, the, off, the, the, the sun was um, – Behind me, you know, the first one, the sun was in front of me. You know, what I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to get a tip, and both of the defender and the wide receiver missed the ball, and it just ran up on me. But you know, you just got to catch the ones they throw to you. You know, that's what coach always says. So um, I'm glad I can come away with the third one of the year. And just real quick, how important is Derrick Henry to the defense when when he can gobble up all those yards and take all that time? How much easier does that make your job? Um, pretty easy. You know, we get to sit over there, relax. Uh, we wearing their defense out. Uh, we keeping their offense off the field. And when we get out there, we rested, ready to go, burning the clock, making the game go by fast. Um, you know, he's a big key of this team, but you know, I don't think he'll be able to do it without his teammates. But Derek Henry most definitely play a key role in this team.